Well, UC did a, got a little something cooking early. Gino Gadilli with a little flare to DeMarco McCleskey. Seven yards in the score. Game tied 7-all. But the Cats offense wasn't exactly clicking. The D was. That, that's a fumble on the option pitch. Antoine Peak nearly recovers. Doug Monahan does. And he's finally stopped on the UAB eight-yard line. Three plays later. Gino trying to take it on in on the keeper. But he fumbles as he stretches for the goal line. UAB recovers. And Rick Minner has his anger to keep him warm. Second quarter, UAB adds a field goal to make a 10-7. And UC responds with D. The Blazers, Daryl Hackney looking around. Watch out, picked. Taiwan Hagler with a pick and a 15-yard return. UC goes up 14-10. Second half, UAB goes on a 14-play, 69-yard drive to open the quarter. Eat up nearly six and a half minutes on the clock on fourth and goal from the one. Oh, my. The bus scores. Now you got UC's D continuing to come up strong. Antoine Peak with the fumble recovery. Move it on up in the strip. And now you got them going the other way. Firing those guns big time. Gino Gadilli with a handoff to McCleskey here, and he takes it to the house. UC led 24 23. Now, UAB going up, they're going down. The defense holds, gets three sacks on the final. UAB possession. UC wins at 31-23. My partner Dan Horde has more. For three quarters, Cincinnati's offense was non-existent, gaining a mere total of 165 yards. But in the fourth, trailing by six points, Gino Gadulli completed all seven of his passes, coming up with the sixth fourth quarter come from behind victory of his young Bearcat career. The Darius Van stepped up huge late in the game and uh, came up with a lot of catches down the stretch and put us in good field position and. Uh, you know, then you got McCleskey comes out in three touchdown game, and he he, he played his butt off. I think we live and die like this, just like uh, Gadouli has always been the comeback kid, and he's always had that name. And our offensive line and our receivers behind Gadouli, we just kept uh, giving ourselves a chance to win, and that's what we did at the end. Never been so happy to be average. <laughs> We're 500. <laughs> uh, I'm crying, but laughing, and yet I'm thrilled to be 500. That's all we could have been today is 500, and. Uh, but we came out to win Conference USA Championship, and that's within our grasp. We know as, as seniors that this is the opportunity of a lifetime, and there's 20 of us, so, um, you know, it's, it's leave it on the field. We just got to keep on ticking. You know, we got to um, make plays from first to the last quarter. So we just got to uh, stick together this next week and, um, you know, go full force. With a win, Cincinnati is 6-6 six and six overall, 5-2 and two in Conference USA, meaning if the Bearcats can win at East Carolina on Friday night, they'll have a share of the Conference USA championship and a trip to a bowl game. Reporting from Nippert Stadium, I'm Dan Horde. Now back to Greg in the studio. Thanks, you, Dan, and the Bears repeating. Up next for the UC Bearcats, a Friday night contest against East Carolina, as my partner noted. If UC wins, they will share the conference title with TCU and earn a bowl bid. That's a 7 o'clock start down in Greenville. All righty. UK at Tennessee today and looking at a 17 straight losses to the balls and hoping to break that string today in Knoxville. In the house, Hall of Famer Anthony Munoz and wife Dee Dee there to see son Michael and Michael making him proud. Oh, yeah, throwing the pancake on his man. Watch him take him down. He's a pancake posse all his own. Balls had other stuff going on. Casey Clausen, 18-yard strike to Derek Tinsley. Balls off the 7-0 lead. Tennessee just kept it coming. Jabari Davis from the one, up and over, breaks the plane before the fumble. 14-0 UT. It's 21-0 by halftime. Clausen delivering to Tinsley once again. This one for 35 yards. Oh, yeah. Tennessee clocks Kentucky 24-0. Jared Lorenzen not on his game today. He threw for just 59 yards and was temporarily benched in the third 